uh, Cyclops uh, headlamp. Weighs next to nothing. It uses the little round uh, CR2016 batteries. Super lightweight, super bright. Uh, this is my survival slash uh, medical kit. Basically, see what we have in here. And this is not really updated. I'll probably be adding and taking out a few things. Snake bite kit. You gotta have it. Got um, all kind of uh, compresses. I have loose band aids in here from last trip, which uh, I'll be replacing. I have just a little uh, signaling mirror, you know, shaving mirror, something to uh, look at yourself in sometimes if you're going into town. I have another um, sterile bandage here, compress thing. Uh, another bandage. Most of this stuff uh, I won't be taking. Um, have some off bug spray. I rarely use it, but just in case, it's about a half a bottle. Uh, extra pair of shoelaces. I always carry extra cordage for any reason. Uh, the rest of the stuff, it looks just like uh, loose stuff. Extra pair of matches, or extra book of matches. Also, uh, I think I have a little pocket knife in here. Yeah, a little backup uh, pocket knife. Cost me 99 cents. Lightweight, just in case my big one breaks or I lose it. Uh, that's pretty it. Pretty much it for the kit there. Uh, this is my water and food system here, and cooking, kitchen, everything. Uh, basically, I have a little container for keep my fuel in. This is a eight ounce container. The bottle itself weighs one ounce. I'm taking with me four and a half ounces of fuel. I use 0.25 ounces of fuel per meal. So I'm basically going through a half ounce a day. This is enough for about nine days. Um, keep it in a little Ziploc bag for safety. Uh, the fuel I'm using, which uh, most people use, is called heat. It's uh, methanol. It's uh, gas line, antifreeze, and water remover. Uh, you can get it at AutoZone, two bucks. Walmart, two bucks. Each bottle here is 12 ounces, so you can basically go on three weeks worth of camping with this bottle if you're pretty uh, frugal about your fuel usage. All right, we'll go into the. Here's my kitchen. Uh, super lightweight. This whole thing, I'm right at 3.7 ounces here for my entire, or maybe four if you count the bottle for that, 4.7 for the fuel. But um, basically, it came out of an old um, mess kit. It's very lightweight. It has just enough room for me to boil the water that I need, um, maybe two cups worth of water, and it cleans up good. Cost me, a, I don't know, a dollar maybe. It's a quart container, which has everything else in it. Uh, I eat out of this quart container. It's my main food bowl. I don't cook food in that pan. I just pour hot water into this and let my food simmer. I have a uh, little mini wash rag. Some people carry sponges, whatever, just a little thing. I have two little uh, cups here. This one is a measuring cup I cut the handle off of. Um, it's one quarter cup, so you can measure out how much you need, super lightweight. This is how I measure my fuel uh, for the stove. Two of these things is 0.25 ounce, and that lasts me five minutes in the stove, maybe six if I'm lucky. I have my foil windscreen here, nothing special. It has holes on the bottom uh, that I drilled in. This thing, uh, I've had it with a fan running right next to it on high speed and it worked great when the stove was in action. I keep a plastic spoon. Most of my foods I don't need a spork or anything special. Mashed potatoes, soup, so that's it. I keep this uh, little aluminum ashtray which uh, basically I set my stove on. Here's the stove. Sorry. 
there's the stove it sits on it and I don't need the ashtray but for safety and you can see it's just uh, this is a can stove I think on YouTube it's the perfect alcohol stove it's a double walled stove you can see maybe that there's another wall inside uh, pour the fuel in the middle 30 seconds later flames come out of the side put your pot on top works great and it costs you basically nothing you find a can on the side of the road it's just a little uh, paper clip I keep for my windscreen there and my quart container and that's it so that's my kitchen uh, pretty proud of the kitchen it's super lightweight I've tested it uh, up in the mountains already works really well no problems at all uh, this is my drinking I usually keep a two liter bottle which I get my dirty water in and I can treat this uh, when it's empty it flattens out I don't need an expensive platypus and um, you know you can get these in town for 99 cents or something I keep also uh, two one liter bottles uh, in my bag so I have a total of about a gallon of water in my back at all times I also have this uh, drinking straw which I made and it goes into a Gatorade container on the front of my backpack on the straps and I'll show you a picture right now alright so this I just use on one side when I'm done drinking that I spin it take off the cap switch caps and I can drink that one and uh, I never have to take it off my back and the best thing about it is unlike a camel back or a platypus hydration system you don't know how much water you're drinking I can always see the water that I'm drinking up front I have two liters on my front which counterbalances the weight also and um, I can judge you know half a liter per hour that's what I usually drink and it gets me through all day so I'm carrying a total of six liters of water and that's all my gear so I weighed in about 15 and a half pounds which is uh, still under the lightweight category which is fine I have uh, seven days of food so it's gonna put me probably at 35 pounds with the food and then adding water at about six liters you know we're looking at under 50 pounds but this is for seven days and most of the time I'm not going to be carrying all six liters of water but um, yeah that's pretty much the deal uh, the backpack and everything's ready to go I'm just gonna make my food up and I'll probably be leaving here in a week do section D southbound uh, Pacific Crest Trail in California it's I think 115 miles from Agua Dulce to uh, I think Devor it's uh, the Cajon Pass underneath the 15 freeway um, so yeah I look forward to it uh, I hope this video helped in some way most of the reason I made this is for my friends they could see what I'm carrying it but if any of you uh, lightweight or ultralight guys uh, get any ideas from this comment let me know and uh, appreciate uh, any feedback or ideas for the next trip thanks